Employers put the brakes on hiring last month. The Labor Department reports the economy added just 38,000 jobs in May. That was drastically short of what had been expected. You got to wonder about the economists who make up consensus view. It's difficult to overstate how disastrous of a month this is. The slowdown was widespread with cuts in manufacturing, construction, and in telecom after the Verizon strike. The unemployment rate dropped to 4.7 percent, but that was because about half a million people stopped looking for work and were no longer officially counted as unemployed. May's job growth was the slowest in more than five years, and investors reacted quickly. The stock market dropped right from the opening bell. The unemployment numbers are also giving the Federal Reserve something to think about. Policymakers had been considering raising interest rates in the next month, but a shaky labor market may postpone those plans. If they're going to act, they have to do it either in June or July, but now they certainly can't act in June. By other measures, the economy had been on the upswing. Consumer spending has increased along with home sales and factory activity, but dismal job growth could be a red flag that the recovery has stalled. Jill Wagner, CBS News, Wall Street.